हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्यूरिस लॉ लेट्स बिगेन अकॉर्डिंग टू क्यूरिस लॉ मैग्नेटिक ससेप्टेबिलिटी जा एम इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द एब्सोल्यूट टेम्परेचर ऑफ द सब्सटेंस मैग्नेटिक ससेप्टेबिलिटी इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द एब्सोल्यूट टेम्परेचर ऑफ द मैटेरियल इफ टेम्परेचर इंक्रीजेस देन मैग्नेटिक ससेप्टेबिलिटी डिक्रीजेस इफ टेम्परेचर डिक्रीजेस देन मैग्नेटिक ससेप्टेबिलिटी इंक्रीजेस मैग्नेटिक ससेप्टेबिलिटी by using magnetic susceptibility we can say that is the easiness of a material is to be magnetized how that point is introduced basically that is based upon the experimental data experimentally the scientist curie observed that the intensity of magnetization it is i vector intensity of magnetization of a magnetic material depend upon two factors as it is directly proportional to the magnetic field b vector and inversely proportional inversely proportional the absolute temperature of the material mathematically we can say intensity of magnetization i is directly proportional to b and again inversely proportional to the absolute temperature combining these two equations from equation 1 and 2 we get i directly proportional that of b by t but you know b 
is directly proportional to that of H. Therefore, I also directly proportional to that of H by T. or i by h proportional with 1 by t i by h is nothing but magnetic susceptibility where i by h is equal to magnetic susceptibility Directly proportional to sorry proportional to inversely proportional to that of absolute temperature. Which is Curie's law. Magnetic susceptibility is inversely proportional to the absolute temperature of the material. J m is inverse proportional to that of 1 by t. According to that Curie's law, a magnetic material gets magnetized easily if its temperature is low. Since magnetic susceptibility is the easiness to acquire a substance is to be magnetized if temperature is low. Then magnetic susceptibility will be high. Therefore, according to Curie's law, the magnetic material gets magnetized easily if its temperature is low. Magnetic material gets magnetized if its temperature is low that is the expression for Curie's law. If we plot a graph between temperature temperature and reciprocal of susceptibility then we obtain line inclined to that of origin and this is valid for paramagnetic materials. This law is valid for paramagnetic material. paramagnetic material. In case of dia and ferromagnetic materials, they does not obey the Curie's law. An important point here regarding Curie's temperature, Curie temperature. Curie temperature 
that is the temperature at which a ferromagnetic substance ferromagnetic substance becomes paramagnetic substance is known as Curie temperature. The temperature at which a ferromagnetic substance converted to paramagnetic substance. Thus, the ferromagnetic substance becomes paramagnetic substance if its temperature becomes more than that of Curie's temperature. To show that condition, to show this, ferromagnetic substance, to show this means ferromagnetic substance converted to paramagnetic substance. ferromagnetic substance is converted into paramagnetic substance if its temperature becomes more than Kirby's temperature. Then we achieve paramagnetic substances from ferromagnetic substances. The temperature at which ferromagnetic substance becomes paramagnetic substance is known as Curie's temperature and here if its temperature becomes more than the Curie's temperature we achieve paramagnetic from that of ferromagnetic substance. So, with this help of this video lecture we understand a basic idea on Curie's law. What is Curie's law? Mathematically we show Curie's law and its importance in magnetism of a substance, an idea of Curie temperature, now how a ferromagnetic substance is converted into paramagnetic one by using its Curie's temperature concept. So, with this useful and informative notes, let me wind up this session. Thank you.